Hey, Zosia. Yeah? Imagine how much deeper the ocean would be if sponges didn't live there. So today we'll be telling you the secret to a healthy aquarium. So we've put together a little presentation and hopefully everybody can learn something, right? Yeah. Let's get into it. The secret of a healthy aquarium. That's right. This is part one of a series we're going to do on simple ways of making sure that you have a super healthy aquarium. And this is the most important part, the nitrogen cycle. Yes. Right? So there's a lot of information out there and we're going to keep this simple. So Zosha, why don't you take us through? Here is the secret. Dun, 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 dun. Let nature do most of the work and stop fighting it. So the nitrogen cycle is just a simple cycle with bacteria that naturally occurs in the aquarium and it uses the harmful components in fish waste and it turns it into less harmful compounds. In fact, the compounds that our plants really even like. Mm -hmm. So Zosha, why don't you explain a little bit about the, the nitrogen, nitrogen cycle. cycle. So it starts off when you are a fish. Just say you're a fish, okay? I feel like you're a fish. Um, you, so your little owner puts a little um, like algae pa um, tablet in this and you eat it all up. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Then you poop. Um, your poop has ammonia in it, which is also toxic to fish. The ammonia um, is like like eaten um, by the first bacteria. Uh-huh. Which it's turns by a special kind of bacteria, right? Which turns into nitrite, which is also toxic to fish. It's also bad news, but yes. there's good news. Yes. So the nitrate is eaten by the second bacteria, which mm -hmm. turns into nitrates. That's exactly right. So there are two kinds of bacteria at work in the aquarium. And the cool thing is these naturally occur. If you just let the aquarium go, these happen all by themselves. One eats ammonia and poops out nitrite, and the other one eats nitrite and poops out nitrate. Plants and algae eats nitrite as a fertilizer. Yeah. And that is sometimes referred to as nutrient export. Mm -hmm. So it's a nutrient that ends up in the aquarium and the plants kind of take care of it for you. Yeah. Now, if you don't have lots of plants, what's the best way to get rid of excessive amounts of nitrate? Water changes. Exactly, water changes is why we all do those. So this process establishes itself in an aquarium in about one month's time. It yes. takes about one month. So let's go over some. The best practices. Exactly. This is things you can do to keep your aquarium healthy mm -hmm. after you've cycled it and you've got this nitrogen cycle happening naturally in your aquarium, which again just happens naturally over a course of time. First of all, is don't overclean your aquarium. A little bit of dirt can be actually a good thing. That's just it. Everything in your aquarium is a natural part of the ecosystem, mm -hmm. right? And a little bit of dirt in there, or what they call mulm, is a good thing. It's just like in nature. Yeah. Nature isn't super clean. It's not perfect. And that makes sure that there's a healthy population of these bacteria that you need to make sure that all the really nasty, toxic stuff doesn't accumulate in your aquarium water, right? What's Sec the second point? Uh, second of all is one a big one. Water changes can fix mostly everything. That's exactly right. So instead of you putting a bottle of some sort of chemical in your aquarium to fix water color or the smell of the water or uh, detoxifying ammonia, they sell chemicals for that, or changing your pH or doing all these different things that people want to buy another chemical and put in your aquarium, no. do a water change. Yeah. If you don't like water changes, well, I guess it's not for you. You're in the wrong hobby, uh, but it's a very, very important part of the hobby. So what's the third best practice there, Zosha? Um, densely planted tanks are healthy tanks. So tank, tanks like full of plants growing all together is great. That's exactly right. So the nitrates that are sort of the end product of the nitrogen cycle will start to accumulate in the aquarium. Now, while they're not directly toxic to fish, if they get to really, really high levels, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily good and can start to affect other parameters in your aquarium. Plants use the nitrate as food, and that's a wonderful thing. So consider a planted aquarium because it's a more natural and complete system. What's our fourth point? Algae can be ugly, not wanted, but it actually can be good. 
Yep, that's exactly right. Algae is just another plant and it uses up nitrate just like anything else. Now we don't like looking at it, yes, like and that's black true, algae doesn't like it. but it actually does serve a purpose. So yes. if you have lots of plants, they're serving that purpose. And if you don't have lots of plants and you have an accumulation of nitrate, you can guarantee yourself that you're going to have a fair amount of algae. Mm -hmm. But the algae is using up those nutrients and it's food for your fish. And then what is our fifth point? Uh, feed less. Less food equals less waste, which equals a cleaner water. They don't need as much as people might think. Yeah, they don't so they need like... So they feed them like four or five times a day. So each fish, because fish will just keep eating and eating and eating until they're ready to burst. Yeah. But what happens when you eat a lot? What do you also do a lot after you eat a lot? Poop. You poop a lot. That's exactly right. The more food you're putting in, you're putting more nutrients that are going to end up being these other parts of the nitrogen cycle. Mm -hmm. So feed your fish the correct amount. All your fish should be able to polish up all the food that you put in your water in just a few seconds. Yep. And what's our final point, Zosha? Adding chemicals is usually bad. So um, instead of adding so much chemicals, filling your tanks with bottles of like stuff stuff this process will occur in your aquarium on its own it doesn't need any extra help and nature will take care of everything for you so there you have it keep things simple so the big secret is let nature let nature take its, its course, course and get your hands and your bottles of chemicals out of your aquarium because yep. you don't need them take them away so in future episodes we're going to cover the um, buffering capacity of water which is your water's ability to stay at the proper ph yes and um, a few other topics about light and especially when it comes to planted aquariums we're going to talk about the role of carbon dioxide in these processes and again all of these things can happen naturally so what do you say to the beautiful people out there like and subscribe stay tuned catch you next time bye, bye.